Well, it's been a minute, but we're back for now. I have not played Modern Warfare 2 since season four, so it's been about two, maybe three months since I've been on this game. But I've been enjoying the Modern Warfare 3 beta, and since stuff from this game is transferring over to that one, I might as well hop on here and try to get some of it unlocked. And to ease us back into the game, I'll be getting some camos and levels done for the TR-76. Now, I initially stopped playing MW2 because I kind of just got bored of it. I had all the weapons done at the time, and it didn't really feel like there was anything to play for. I guess I could have gone and played ranked and worked towards that camo, but after trying to do that for like two seasons and coming up short on one of them, I was just kind of burnt out on it. Because I didn't want to have to go through and play another 300 something games of ranked, having to win another 100 and getting all that done just for a, a camo that was kind of shitty. Although, you know, to their credit, they did kind of make some of the ranked reward camos better later on but it just didn't really feel like it was worth the grind because i wasn't too interested in rank to begin with especially since i was just solo queuing through a lot of it so it just made it very very difficult to enjoy my time getting it done and it was extremely time consuming playing that many games of rank takes forever to do but since i've been playing the mw3 beta i kind of want to get some of these weapons done because I feel like I'm going to enjoy MW3. And when I go over to the game and these weapons and everything transfer over, I kind of want to have it all leveled up and have the camos and everything unlocked for it. So got to tough through it somehow. Ooh. Let's go. I'm already doing kind of decent in our first game back. But actually, I don't even think I've checked out any of the new camos put in. That used to be my favorite thing to do. Every update, I would go and see what new camos were dropped because each weapon has its own unique camos that get added in. And that system's carrying over to Modern Warfare 3, so I'm pretty excited about that. Every new update, every new weapon, we're going to be getting new camos for both multiplayer and zombies. So I'm going to have to check those out after this game. I want, I want to see what I've missed out on. But like I was saying earlier, it felt like I didn't really have anything to play this game for. I don't really like DMZ too much. Like, I think it's a cool idea for a mode, but I didn't really feel like there was anything for me to do in it. I didn't really care to go through and do all the, the faction missions or whatever. I felt like the rewards were kind of lackluster. And I'm not too insane at multiplayer, so it's not like I was hopping on here and trying to like drop noob gameplays or anything. And as for Warzone, I just couldn't really get into it this year. I don't know. I kind of just felt like I was playing the game just to play it, and I didn't really have an objective to play the game for. So maybe now that we have like a nice backlog of weapons, I can get back into it, but I'm still a little iffy. I'm more kind of looking onto the horizon to see what MW three has in store and now i'm getting slapped i'm getting one shot every time i turn a corner i forgot about this game's ttk it already felt like hardcore just in core it seems like every gun just melts immediately but for my first few games back i didn't want to just immediately hop back into shipment you know get back into the grind of it i wanted to see what new maps came out so far this map it seems all right it don't seem like it take too long to get into any engagements and it actually looks kind of nice and we ended up losing that game we started out hot and then just started getting messed up most of the way through this and we went 23 and 20 in our first game back but i did throw in a few double weapon xps and we got this up to level seven let's go check out the camos for it so if we go to all camos here we have a few new spray paint these are all pretty boring this one's decent though a few new woodland uh lame that's all right i guess also lame a little more vibrant but not the best camo a few geometric i don't know about that one that one's kind of cool, but it just seems like they're taking some camos that have already been added into the game and just like moving the textures around a bit. I don't even know what this is. There's a bunch of new fun camos. What are these? Oh, Bioluminescent. That's sick. That's actually a, a camo coming into MW3. I think it's going to be like what the Zombies Mastery camo is in that game, and, unless I'm wrong, but this looks really good. I need to get this. Also a pretty decent camo right here. That is uh, disappointing. This is pretty sweet. This one's unique. Th I'm pretty sure we've seen this one before, just in a different color. This looks like that, that Scottish Krabby Patty from SpongeBob that changes all the texture of their tongue. This one's sick. I really like this. Neon Pe Peaks? That's an amazing camo. Snow Tiger? Eh. I like the vibrant. I like the vibrant colors. Wild Funk looks pretty cool, though. I like that. The stripe camo is pretty cool. No new solid colors. There's been a few event camos that I've missed for sure. I don't even know if I like this one. That's weird. And I haven't gone back and done any of the raid ones. But what are our camo challenges for this? We need to get 50 kills, 10 double kills, 10 kills while ADS, and 10 kills with the suppressor. That's pretty easy. We can knock these out. And now we get to play the other season six map. Uh, we don't know how much I'm liking this one so far, because I already ran out there and got killed immediately. Complete opposite 
opposite like weather on this one. The other one was a nice sunny day with a nice house and a pool. And now we're running around in the snow. And this map definitely seems a lot bigger than the other one. And I'm a little confused on the layout already. This is like favela if it was in Minnesota. Oh, and we got one cam unlocked. Our first one since coming back. And uh, I think I've had enough of this map. And we played all right on it, but I think it's time to go back to shipment. We gotta get some stuff done. Finally, we're back home. And it's a game of grind too. This was the mode for getting XP. Maybe we can get this thing fully leveled up. Oh, or not. Can't play as fast in this game. Gotta remember, you get punished for moving. Ooh, and I do not miss people running around with riot shields. I'll tell you what. Now, from what I've seen in the MW3 beta, they have the riot shield, but so far it's only been you can use it as the juggernaut. And that thing was like a three, four shot kill, something like that. And I hope they kind of just keep the riot shield as a primary only. And when it goes in your back, it disappears. Or maybe you just take reduced damage, but it can't just be blocking bullets like this anymore. That shit is annoying. I think we've leveled up like five times already this game. I fucking love grind. I hope this game mode comes back, especially if it's got these XP rates. Because in the beta, I don't know if it's just the XP rates for the beta to give us something to do while there's like only limited weapons and limited levels. But the XP rates for the weapons were super slow. It felt like it took all day to get something leveled up. And I do not want the grind to feel like a drag and the game's already over. But we got like five, six, maybe even seven levels from that. So I'm not complaining. And there's only 23 total weapon levels. Pretty refreshing from a Cold Wars 55 that I've been dealing with. Ooh, we're kind of getting slapped around though. We're getting the other end of shipment. The getting fucked up end of shipment. Oh wait, hold on. No wait, we're on the, the fucking end right now. It changes quick. Life comes at you fast. Oh, and there's our light revisited camo. I think we're all done with our just base camos. We need to get our three kills without dying now. Honestly, kind of forgot how seamless the camo grind was in this game because it's not even been an hour yet. I've got this from level one all the way to max and gotten all the base camo challenges done. Now talk to me again once I'm done doing all the long shots because I feel like that's about to double the amount of time that I've taken on this weapon. I feel like we might already like get this done this game. We have not been doing bad. Now that I've said something, I've just been getting two kills and dying every time. The camo curse is back and it's in full swing. Oh, without fail, anytime I, I talk about how easy something's going, it immediately switches. It's been nothing but dying one kill off of three. Oh, there we go, finally. Oh, and that's game. I don't think we got it. Got 47 kills, though. Not terrible. How close did we get, though? Oh, we still need six more. We can knock that out. Dude, what the fuck? Why are you see-through? Why is that a thing? Why is Groot see-through? What happened? What did I miss? Ooh, a little triple courtesy of uh, shipment spawns. Gotta love it. Just need a few more of those and we're done. That should do it right there. Maybe not. Okay, now that's it for sure. Oh, come on. There's no way that's not gold. Really? All right, at this point, I think I must have missed the pop-up because I got 85 kills right now. There's no way I didn't get a few three kills without dying during that span. All right, I'm gonna be real pissed if I go to my camo menu and it's not there. Is it done? Oh, we did get it done. What? Why didn't it pop up? All right, well, time to knock out the long shots. I guess I'll uh, see how that goes. Ah, good old hardcore. The mode that's turned into the long shot grinding mode. And what the fuck map is this? Is there even long shot angles? I don't think so, so I'll be leaving. Oh, and there's our first long shot. It only took me lobby shopping for a few maps. They just got to do away with long shots in general. All it does is ruin hardcore and make all the camo grinding so much slower. It's not like it's tough to shoot somebody at long distance. It's just all very situational. And if somebody will peek you at a long shot angle, but at least it's only 25 of them. At least we don't have to do like 150 or something like that. Whatever it was in Modern for 2019. And look at this shadow. This is ridiculous. This is like I haven't unlocked the gun yet. And then brand new character. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, well, there's platinum. Let's go. Finally. It only took me about like 35 minutes to get these long shots. Damn, dude, this challenge really got to go. I don't remember if the challenge is saved when you leave the game. Uh, let's hope they do. Okay, cool. They do. Sick. All right. On to polyatomic. Now, all we got left to do is get the 25 headshots and we're done. Hopefully it don't take us 35 minutes like the long shots did. Oh, there's one. Just need a bit more. Ooh. Aw. Oh, please, camo curse. 
Leave me alone for this last little bit. Oh, dude, I'm getting slapped around. I've been doing the long shots for too long, and now I don't got the reflexes for shipment. Oh, wait, hold on. We're starting to come around. There we go. Another one. Keep adding them up. Ooh. Even while flashed. Damn, dude, this is rough. They're not giving it to us this easy. Dying f almost 60 times in the game is ridiculous. Oh, and we're just one headshot short. They just had to welcome me back with a little bit of the camo curse. Just a little taste. Now let's make this quick. Oh, there we go. That should be it right there. That's polyatomic, baby. Now let me get the fuck out of here. And let's make sure that we got it. Oh yeah, let's go. Well, let's take a look at our first Orion back in the game. This actually looks really good. I This is one of the better mastery camos I've seen. I just hope that the mastery camos that we've seen leak to look anything as good as this in the game. I, I really like this camo a lot. And this gun, you know what? It was pretty decent. It was all right. Maybe not one of the best weapons out there, but it, it did its job. It did fine. But there you have it. We made our return to MW2 and we got our TR-76 Orion. And honestly, it was kind of fun. I, I missed the camel grind of this game. I feel like that's why I got bored because I ran out of weapons to do. And now that we got a little bit of a backlog, I think I'm going to go through and get the rest of these done. Now, after I get those done, I don't know if I'll continue playing, but I guess we'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.